Hi beautiful people, welcome to the Mommy Tribe channel. This is Kulu. Um, thank you so much for joining us. So today, I decided, let me show you guys how I managed to do flat twists on my super coily and prone to tangling hair. I know a lot of you might be struggling with the same problem that you know you love to do you'd love to do the flat twist but when you try get your fingers in there it actually breaks so for all of you who struggle with doing flat twists because of tangles the natural tangles um this is a method that i think you'll appreciate all right so let's get into it um so i've got my hair in the band method so i just put bands to stretch it out so i'm going to take that out um, I always start with the hydrating mist because I never touch my hair. We should never touch our hair when it's dry because it cracks and breaks. So I'm just going to split that there. You can see I'm wearing the microfiber cap because I was doing my face, getting ready. And sometimes when you're from the bath, you don't want to be, you know, water everywhere and all of that. So, all right. So after just putting a little bit of moisture in there, uh, I'm putting in this kind of moisture because I don't mind a little bit of shrinkage because we're trying to do a flat twist. Um, I think I will start with this section. So I've just um, created a line there and we'll work with this section to demonstrate. Next thing I do is that I put in my leave-in conditioner, the sheer cocoa aloe cream. It's got a nice look, which is what we need when we're styling so that um, our hair doesn't break and it's protected. And we focus always on the ends always on the ends of the hair because those are our weakest parts then i will top it up with the oil splendor we love our oil splendor it gives our hair that great strength but it's also beautiful for the scalp and just helping us with, with good oil massages for our hairlines right so there we are um so i'm going to show you the method so what you want to do for the jumbo flat twist is that you want to create lines as I'm doing. You create lines and sections, lines and sections, lines and sections, nice and thick. Use your fingers, you don't actually need a comb, but if you maybe you want it to be super defined, you can. But I mean, the reason we're doing this is that we want to avoid um, cracking our hair. Okay, so there we go. So you're going to grab a section. Um, and we're going to twist the same direction the whole way. So we're twisting this way all the way. So we're going to take the front hair, the first hair, take it to the back. Okay. And we just pull it there. Then we use our hand to lay it down. Lay the second hair down. Right? And I'm just going to grab that again. Then we're going to take another section. And we're going to take the section and put it behind this one. Can you see? So we're making them one, but I'm going to use this hand now to grab that and we are going to swap positions. Swapping positions are a little bit easier and we're twisting the same direction again, like so. Take my hand, lay it down, grab the next section of hair and I'm going to use my, my hand again to connect them. You just need to make sure this hair is behind so that it looks nice and neat when you're twisting it. So we hold it. Hold this one and we are swapping again, changing positions. Okay, and there it is. I lay it down with this hand, I grab that one, take the next section, make sure I put this one behind the new piece of hair, and it's easy because we've already created sections like so. Okay, and I grab it and I grab this front one, we swap in again, we swap positions. And if you're trying to make it a bit neat, just make sure that um, the front hair is the one that's showing the back hair, you put it behind. Then I grab that again and I lay it down. I'm grabbing my last piece of hair here, like so. I'm holding them and I'm switching. There we go. And then we just twist. And twisting is really about just almost swapping position. The one that was in front goes to the back. So I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. Alright. And that's our flat twist. So how we make it jumbo is that you literally pull on the hair. Okay. You loosen the hair here. So loosen the hair a bit there. And then you pull it out. That's how we make it jumbo. If you 
want it tight, you just keep it that way. Like so. Alright. Yeah, so this is how you basically make your jumbo flat twist. I love this. Then it becomes it becomes a, a particular head bar, right? Okay. Um, so that's how you do the front. And how you would do the back or the side. I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. Um, I found it a little bit difficult doing the side. Okay, but same concept. Let's make let's make our sections. Notice the motion I'm using because my hair is pro tangled. So I usually use this motion to make those lines. You don't need a comb. Um, you can use your fingers because you don't have to have perfect lines, right? There we go. So I've got the sections. And if you've got a lot of hair, you can actually tie them. So that you can manage the sections, okay? So, same concept of the eyes. So, you're gonna choose which direction you're gonna twist, okay? Um, you can hold this way, alright? And then I go this way. Just put my hand back like so. Um, and you can decide which direction you wanna twist. So, let's twist this way, okay? So, you twist it that way. The one that was at the back, we hold it back and we hold the one that was in the front. We grab the new section of hair, the one that we've already sectioned out, like so. You just make sure that this hair is behind that hair and you're using the same direction of twisting. So I hold and we twist. Okay, I'm going to hold this hair down, hold that one. Grab the new section of hair, the one that we've already um, sectioned out, like so. We make sure this hair is behind that hair. And we grab it and we switch positions. Okay? Again, lay it down, hold it, grab the hair again. Okay? Make sure it's behind that section. And we're gonna twist it that way again. Okay, lay it down, lay it down. Make sure it's behind. You see, yeah, I need to sort of decide what kind of uh, sections you want. But I'm gonna twist it that way again. How we make it almost um, jumbo is that we just pull it and if you feel like you can't pull then you just loosen it at the end because that's where the force is and that's how you do your flat twist if you have super tangly hair um, I hope that was helpful I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the hair stuff um, if you like that please don't forget to subscribe and like and share with your friends thank you so much Yes.